Welcome back. If you're in looking for a tousled wavy look, you're not alone. The curling products you use actually may be playing a part in the finished look. Here to explain is stylist Erica Ramirez and owner of Mirror Mirror Salon, Ashley Bradshaw. So why do so many people want that loose curl beach wave look? I think it's so effortless. It doesn't look so done up that everybody like craves for it. It's like it's done, but it's not done at the same time. Okay. so. We see a tousled look here on Ashley. What curling products and iron are you using? Okay, so the curling iron I'm gonna use on her today is gonna be the um, one inch. Uh -huh. This one particular is um, bionic, iobionic, so it kind of suits and controls the frizz. Okay, awesome. And why would you recommend that type of iron? Um, actually, just because of the length of her hair, I think the one inch is a good, you know, you want to be able to wrap it around at least one and a half times for it to give you the desired curl pattern. Okay, and can you show us how we could achieve that? Yeah, for sure. So, I'm gonna grab a little piece right here. And I have prepped her hair with like volumizing mousse, it has dry shampoo. Okay. A lot of people think that dry shampoo is um, only when your hair is dirty, mm -hmm. but in reality, if you use it when your hair is clean, it makes your hair last cleaner longer and it extends the wear. Okay, and then not everybody is going to have time to start from scratch. Let's be honest, the working woman today, she's looking for that two and three day hair, just how you can make it last. Right. So what do you recommend? Like the dry shampoo. So mm -hmm. like she, this is day two on her. So okay. she has the product, it gives it grit. So today all she's gonna have to do is grab the pieces that are framing her face. You clamp at the mid shaft, mm -hmm. hold the end, twist, pull down, twist again, pull down. That way it's like a very loose, not too curly Sue mm -hmm. looking type of curl. Okay, a lot of people probably go to stylists like you and then can't achieve the look at home. That I happens. think that that is something that every woman has told me before. So sure. what are some of those tips and tricks? Um, I think I was asking your stylist to help you, give you a little uh, tutorial while you're getting your hair done. A lot of my clients ask me, like, you, I can never make this, you know, make it happen <laughs> at home. So it's just all on how and where you clamp the curling iron. So a lot of people like to clamp at the end and roll their way up. And as you can see, that will give you a different kind of pattern, which is, it's okay, but it's not the tousled look. So it's all about clamping at the root mid shaft area curling, letting the ends out, pulling down, keep on going, pulling down, like that. So and I think really we also effortless. have some photos that you provided us yes. so that we can see that this is actually applicable to all different hair lengths. For sure, yes. It could be long, thick, you know, this is kind of like a little lob, so mm -hmm. it looks good on everybody. Okay, and that may be a little bit mid-length to longer length. Is there a different approach you take? Uh, maybe the size of the curling iron. Um, okay. The longer it is, I'll probably switch over to like a one and one fourth or like a one and a half, even two inches of a barrel, the okay. size of the barrel. Okay, and then last before we go, anything to make sure it stays? Um, yeah, for sure. Um, my favorite hairspray is the Triple Take by Redken. Okay. I call it invisible hairspray because you could, it holds, it holds the curl, it gives it texture but it doesn't feel tacky or sticky and it doesn't leave a coat on the curling iron either. Okay, well thank you so much Erica. You're Ashley's welcome. ready to walk out the door with her brand new tousled look. Thank you guys for coming on. Thank you.